And this is a totally different group here. I'm a totally different player from 09. Um, you know, but that doesn't mean it guarantees you a win. I mean, I don't want to peak right now. We're not peaking. I hope, I hope not. We want to continue to get better throughout this series. And, uh, and if we're fortunate enough to move on, and, uh, you know, we, we worry about that then. But this series is the only thing that matters right now, and game one is the only thing that we should be worrying about. So uh, we played some good basketball up until this point, and uh, we want to continue that. So nine days after sweeping the Hawks, the Cavs host the Raptors in game one of the Eastern Conference Finals. During the regular season, Toronto took two of three. But LeBron, he's not concerned, Skip. How much pressure is on him in this particular series? Some. And I think there's some building pressure on LeBron James because there's always pressure on the guy that we have presumed for years and years was the greatest player on the planet. Even last year, we thought that. So LeBron's saying all the right things. He's surrounded, we, we both agree, by easily the best supporting cast he's ever had. He's Absolutely. got some studs riding shotgun now, mm -hmm. right? Uh, he's got an array of snipers around the three-point arc. They have found the way to do this with LeBron. N nobody can stop LeBron from getting into the lane. And I've said this again and again, as critical as I've been of LeBron, you can attest to this, mm -hmm. he's still the best passer in basketball. And thanks to Ty Lue, their scheme has changed where LeBron just penetrates he he disrupts the defense and he finds open shooters nobody does it better than lebron at whatever he is six eight six nine he can see over the defense the way magic used to see over a defense and he has magic's vision and feel for the game of basketball it's beautiful to watch he's playing as effectively at as high a level as i've ever seen him play yes. all around yes he is by far the poorest three-point shooter on his team but everybody else is not only a good three-point shooter but they're all hot-handed right now so they have been on a three-point tear to the point i call them three vland now because they're not cleveland anymore they're three vland and in this case we do have a LeBron James who is a student of history. This, this is like the, the blessing curse for LeBron to me. He is so smart. He is so wise. He is so perceptive about what's going on around him. Sometimes he thinks a little too much. He has to know that there is some history here with Dwayne Casey because what was LeBron's lowest moment of his career? It was his meltdown against the Dallas Mavericks in that finals, right? Yep. The chosen one became the frozen one. I've never seen anything quite like it. The defensive coordinator for the Dallas Mavericks in that series was one Dwayne Casey. Now, does he have the, the horses to, to do it this time, to, to put that kind of pressure on LeBron? He has the know-how. He has the X's and O's. He has the scheme to do it. I, I, if I'm LeBron, I'm a little nervous about what he's going to throw at me. But I have so much more help now than I even had. I, he had Dwayne more, Dwayne Wade in his prime, Chris Bosh, obviously. Mm -hmm. But even that couldn't save LeBron in that series. So my point is, if, if Toronto could go out and steal game one, the way Oklahoma City just stole game one, the pressure would, would exponentially mount on LeBron James. Now, they're double-digit favorites at home, the Cavs are. So do I see Toronto win? I, do, I don't. Because Valanchunas, is, it sounds like he's almost certainly out. I don't know, unless there's a miraculous recovery off his ankle. Mm -hmm. I think he's pretty much been declared out for at least game one. Right. Well, that's a huge advantage, Cleveland, because now they don't even have their big guy to protect the rim and to cause some problems for, for Cleveland inside. So Cleveland can even play a little smaller than they, which is what they like to do yes. anyway. And it's big advantage for LeBron's team. So sh should they sweep Toronto? Eh, maybe not. I I I'm giving Toronto one game in this series in Toronto. But other than that, the, the pressure would only mount if Toronto pulled off the near impossible and stole a game in Cleveland. That's good. <clears throat> pressure is what you feel when you a moment or an opportunity is too big for you. You mentioned he was the chosen one. Kid from Akron, Ohio. Grew up about 30 miles from Cleveland. First pick in the entire draft. Everybody said, hey. This might be the greatest talent, high school talent we've seen. He's going to be a great, he, he's a can't miss. Skip, I don't see it. I don't see it. He's got the bet with Kyrie, Kevin Love, J.R. Smith, and then they go four or five deep coming off the bench. And the one thing that happened to him in 09 when they lost, they didn't really have anybody to shoot outside. D. Wade had to get in the paint. LeBron had to get in the paint. Now, and it was like, can't no one get in the paint? Who can shoot the ball? 
Now he has Kyrie to fall back on. Kyrie can go get him 30. Kevin Love can get him 20. They've had five different guys that score at least 27 points in a, in a, in a uh, playoff game this postseason. 8-0. There's no pressure on that. There's no, like I said, I'll give them one game. Toronto will win one game. It will probably be game four because they don't want to go home. They don't want to get swept and says, hey, we were just like the rest of the teams in the, uh, the, uh, the Eastern Conference. Didn't match it with the Cavs, but I don't see it. I don't, I don't think Braun feels any pressure. He knows he has guys. I don't have to carry this weight by myself. I can distribute it equally with Kevin Love, with Kyrie. Got guys coming off the bench, Skip. The game will be very close tonight. I think the game will be a five- or six-point ball game tonight, but game two they'll probably win by 15-20. Why do you think it'd be close tonight? Because they're, they've been off for they've a while. Been, that's yeah, a long, I that's a long, I, I hate this. You, you I, can't, you know, you can't I, simulate issues, game yep. time. You know, you can get on the Bursa climb and you can practice mm -hmm. all you want, but that's not in the game. And you're not practicing against guys that you're going to face in the game. Yep. And you don't really, because in practice, you script what you think they're going to do. You don't know if they're going to actually do that, but you look at Tate and says, okay, this is how they played this last time. This is how they did this. They might come out with something totally new. So I think this uh, game will be very close. This first game will be very close, but the second game, they're going to win by 15, 20 points. So if they do happen to go ahead and close this deal quickly and sweep the Raptors, I told you yesterday, I I'm seeing this as the easiest superstars path to a finals that I can ever remember. You, you can say Detroit was dangerous, but they swept them. You can say Atlanta had its moments, but swept them. And if they sweep the Raptors, the pressure doesn't really start. The season doesn't really start for yeah. LeBron James yeah. until the next round, right. the finals, right? Yeah. And, and I don't care whether it's Oklahoma City or Golden State. I think it's going to be Golden State. But wh whichever, the pressure will then go through the roof, I think, on LeBron James because then he would be facing falling to two and five in an NBA finals. So he, he has to be aware in the back of his mind that's coming. But this still could be, I'm not going to say a cakewalk, but, but pretty easy. I look at it like... When we went to the Super Bowl, um, John's Super Bowl, his fourth Super Bowl, we were playing Green Bay. They were the defending champs. I think he slept a lot easier that night than he did before because he says, you know what? I got a better supporting cast. I got 30 behind me. I got a great offensive line. I well, got it wasn't it. him or bust anymore. Exactly. In those first ones, he had to do everything. And that's what offense. LeBron has. He says, you know what? We go for They're going to play four guys off the bench that's going to legitimately play mm -hmm. 20 minutes, where in the past, I mean, last year in the playoff skip, they brought De they brought Deli Do Deli yeah, Dova. They're healthy. Yeah, they brought two guys off the bench. They were playing five guys, mm -hmm. and LeBron was playing what 38, 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. he, he he doesn't have to worry about that now. I'm not worried about this. I don't care who comes out of the West, but you keep on. You know what, Skip? I'm learning this about you. My grandma used to always say, she says, "Son, the easiest job in the kitchen is stirring the pot. You love stirring the pot." Oh, all this pressure's on LeBron. And That's what you, all you do in the kitchen that, is stir the pot, huh? That's the easiest job. Wait a second. That's the easiest job, the 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 easiest job yeah. in the kitchen. I, you don't have to put the ingredients that's together. That's what you I, did for Levita. You just stirred the pot. No, wait. I come from a family of chefs, including my brother, who's a really oh, good chef. Whoa, 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 I, I cannot boil water, so I don't stir <laughs> any pot that's because you, I don't enter the kitchen yeah. at all. All you do is just okay. keep it going. Keep you boil, though. Oh, pick. I boil. I'll go on the record right now. Pick. Go. Pick OKC to win the game. Yeah, Pick OKC. Well, I want you to have the guts to do oh, it. The courage of, oh, I'm stirring. Good. I'm have stirring. Good. Exactly. Yeah. Right? And I'm going to stir this one more time before we go to break here. The pressure is, whether you like it or not, the pressure on LeBron James will start with the next round. And you know it, and I know it. LeBron and you problem. already picked him yesterday. You said LeBron is going to win his third ring, right? He will win, and I'm going to be in Cleveland for the parade. Mm. Okay. Driving that white LeBron's. Yeah. <laughs> when they bring the chip to the so, land. So, so LeBron, Ooh. wait a second. So Cleveland will beat Oklahoma City in the finals. That's I, what you're saying? Oklahoma City. Go, you see what he's trying it to do? It doesn't matter that? who it is. I don't he care has who Cleveland it is. winning. You know what? As a matter of fact, you can have Cleveland an all star team everybody. between those two teams. <laughs> an all star team and LeBron would beat Damn, anyone? Curry, uh, Clay Thompson, you know what? Durant. That's just wrong, and you know it. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that bad. I got LeBron yep. winning a title over OKC. Or Golden State. Which one? 
Whoever comes out of the way. <laughs> Whoever comes out of the way. <laughs> we'll see That's if he gutsy. changes that prediction by yeah. the end of the show. Okay, so that one is 8.30 Eastern on ESPN. Raptors, Cavs, and Valanchunas is out for game one. We go out west next. Westbrook did what Westbrook does. A little good, a little bad. But would the guys like him to run point for their teams? They will answer that question after the break. Stay here.